Using Stardew Valley, one of the most popular indie games around, allow me to explain how the economic growth can happen in some parts of the world. I personally spent about almost about 100 hours even more playing Stardew Valley and realized how satisfying it is to turn blueberries into blueberry jellies which sold higher than the fresh ones. It's interesting that yes the player need to earn more income to develop the farm to buy something new and build um, some buildings and also help the town it is a wonderful coincidence to explain how a local economy could grow by using study value as an explanation and this is the reason why i made this video enjoy When the player, or also known as a farmer in the game, started the game, the economy of Pelican Town was mainly rely on the external uh, funding. For example, this house depend on the military pension, or in the game, is the bad character of Ken. And this house depend on the remittances from abroad, and while the family who live up the hill is depending on the Demetrius research grant. And perhaps occasionally there are some visitors visit the town, especially during the Stardew Valley Fair, which maybe attract some uh, money from outside. Even though there are some creative industry, for example, uh, Liam is making uh, art sculptures and Elliot is writing down a book, it's mostly productive. And uh, in my opinion, Elliot is the one of the unproductive character in the town economy and please change my mind because I don't think that his book published anywhere. Whereas the town itself is a self-sustaining economy such as uh, livestock herding, uh, fishing and foraging and hardly they, uh, any of these products were exported or sold outside and thus explain why the community centre was in ruins and the roads were unpaved and no lights outside the town. And what is the proof that I can show you that the, the economy of the Pelican Town was insulated from the rest of the French Republic or simply in the country? Because some of the characters say that the farmer should buy something for them so they can use uh, the cash. Adios. In this point, you might ask how to develop the local economy so that the economic growth could happen. By using the study value, let me explain three steps of how the economic growth could happen, not only locally but also nationally. And this uh, always be a model used by the Asian countries, for example, Korea, South Korea, uh, China, Vietnam, Malaysia and Indonesia. The first step to grow an economy is to have an economy of, of scale. What is mean by the economy of scale is that if you want to earn more of the farmer want to earn more income, you need to produce more uh, of the same products. One of the pioneers of the idea of the economy of scale, George Stiglitz in his paper, uh, he wrote that the aim of economy of scale to reduce inefficiency due to mismatch between the plant size and the labor to avoid this uh, content of the video being plagiarized, please guess which page in the article of George Stiglitz, the economy of scale, this sentence came from. Even though Stiglitz mentioned about the plant or industry, actually this theory can be applied to the farming and agricultural sector as well. If, if you have a large land to work with but there is a low productivity due to maybe like limit, maybe a limitation of tools or lack of technology. So that's much so that the number of production is lesser than it should be. And thus technology also can be considered to increase the production thus achieving the economy of scale. High tech farming means large scale farming with low number of farmers is possible. That's why you have like iridium sprinklers sold every Friday by Krobus. Sewer instead of like pouring one by one by the watering can, which is assumingly takes a lot of time. And back to the real world, actually, the top producers of agriculture products, such as 
wheat, corn and potatoes are often developed and fast developing countries even though these uh, major uh, developed countries can buy the agricultural products by your own from other countries is much more wiser and safer because of the food security to produce in the within the country itself also to increase the production of the agriculture product you need to have machineries you have technologies infrastructures such as road canals and waterways The second step to have an economic growth is produce better product or, or can be explained as a high quality product. Higher quality product can be sold higher than the same similar produce of the normal quality. Thinking of like common cheese that you can buy like in the supermarket and compare it with the expensive like the cheese wheel one, the big one that produced in some specific area, uh, region in Italy or France. And often the high quality product is often related to geographical indicator which means that a certain product can only be produced in a specific region. In an article by Moschini, Minipace and Pick, the cost of producing a specialty product in a specific uh, region incur extra cost but it gives more return to the manufacturer. Guess which page in the article. And back to the study value, thinks of how much uh, saps and iridium bar you need to make a deluxe fertilizer just to have a chance to produce uh, iridium quality uh, crops. And back to the real world, there are some examples where the high quality product can be sold higher than the normal product. For example, Parmigiano Reggiano cheese produced only in the region of Parma, Italy, whereas the other places who produce a copycat of the Parmigiano Reggiano, which means the fake one, is simply called Parmesan cheese. You maybe heard many times before. And Parmigiano Reggiano specifically produced in Parma is higher than the normal Parmesan brand because of the high quality associated with the standard of quality and also the high cost of production which means like the type of grass the type of uh, machine to use it and the place to keep all the cheese wheels and some of the product is unnecessarily in the specific region but maybe a specific climatic type for example durian which is only can grow in a tropical area in malaysia for example just nearby where i live uh, durian can be like the variety of the types uh, from the cheap common ones to the most expensive one for export quality for example uh, Musang King and the Black Thorn and this type of durian for example Musang King can sold up to $20 per kilogram in international market especially in China as a result you can see that better quality product or you can see the Iridium Star better quality product means higher value instead of just producing everything in the normal so you need to produce more so you can have the economic growth the third step of stimulating the economic growth is produced differently which can be explained by economic complexity economic complexity means how an economy in a country or people in a country produce a variety of products the more type of products the, a country produce a place produce or even how more difficult the product is uh, produced the higher the value is based on the paper of Simmons and Hidalgo from Massachusetts Institute of Technology MIT which initiated the idea of the economic complexity concept the data represented on the chart is simple enough to analyze what type of export a country produce and the theory goes the more variety of the products the export products and the complexity of the export product means that the really difficult one to produce high tech high skill needed to produce more developed the economy is for, for example this uh, square box with the multiple colors it show the variety of a export product of republic of korea south korea Meanwhile, I show you another uh, data which is only consists of mainly one or two products. You can guess which country it is. And obviously, this country only produces one or two products. 
to the international market which means that if you only produce a parsnip for example you will be like can be uh, unstable because of. in study valley if the process of making a product is more difficult for example you need to have a cake or you need to have a cast keep in the cellar or you need to have preserved jar slime presser um, crystallarium whatsoever if the process of making a product is more difficult the higher the value of the finished product for example manufactured product for example cheese or mayonnaise the animal product is so higher than the raw product for example uh, only sold uh, milk and egg while the fruit juices sold higher than the fresh fruit and the pickles from the preserved jar is sold higher than the fresh um, parsnips or garlic as a result, processed products are more valuable making economy much more stable and more varied instead of the relying on a single crop, say a uh, parsnip that the menu sent to you on the first day when you arrive in the farm. As a conclusion, Study Valley is an enjoyable and satisfying game to play especially during the quarantine era since the last year as with most of the successful games such as SimCity and Civilization series the initial intention of the game is not intended to be an educational tool but just for entertainment and and somehow Study Valley did really well not only for the relationship thing or learn how to like rural lifestyle but also how to develop an economy from scratch or and how to develop the economy which means like previously you rely more on the external uh, funding and it is an irony where software developed specifically for education purposes fail to replicate what not so educational games successfully did so yeah that is probably one of the major factor of the success of this title of the indie game study valley so thank you so much for watching i hope you learned something new about this video and and if you're watching to the end uh, my channel is mostly talking about the international stuff and affairs and not really about study valley but because of the quarantine things and i really enjoy the game so like yeah sharing something that might be beneficial for you too thank you so much again and see you in the next episode